outside of Hawk's Handy Store in the heart of Schnitzelburg, a 43-year-old tradition continues. I think the biggest thing that I see about it that brings people out of their homes to something they really love to enjoy, and they get to see people they hadn't seen in almost a year probably. Lines are drawn in sidewalk chalk. The hecklers are in their places. All right, Gary, five dollars. You don't hit it. The dainty contest is just a matter of days away. And the object of the game is just to lay the little dainty on the street and tip the tip and make it airborne and flip it and hit it the feathers down the street. The game seems simple enough. That is until you try it. So the guys who run the dainty competition say you're supposed to be 45 years old to take part in the whole thing, but they've given me the go ahead. So here we go. I tried. All right, here we go. Oh, you're trying to kill it. It's only five inches long now. Come on. And tried. Finally hitting the dainty and yeah, gloating a little bit until I realized I used two hands, which apparently is against the rules. So I'm talking about Kelly Davis. Something that makes me feel a little bit better, though. Others have had some trouble with this game, too. We had a very interesting uh, one last year, and I'm sure he'll really appreciate this. Our Metro Council President Jim King. Uh, he kind of lost his grip and relieved George one of his windows in his building. Wow! 93 year old George Hawk, whom the playing field is now named after, started this tradition a few years back. Before that, it was just a childhood memory. When I was a kid, of course, that was a different world. There weren't any, there were a few automobiles. And you, we had street games, and Daisy was one of the street games. Now he hopes it will be a fond memory for all the others, young and old, who hit up Schnitzelburg this Monday. Oh, I'm getting the hole. Am I doing right? 20.